All right, guys, here's the, here's the second round of uh, my videos showing off some of the backpacks that I carry for work. And like I said, my goal before, uh, or in my, my last video, was to actually create bags that are, you know, essentially grab and go. So this is what I turned into my trim bag. Uh, I know the last video I showed this bag briefly, I just waved it in front of the camera, I guess, and I said I was gonna try to find something for it. I did have all my trim tools, and by trim I mean fixtures, like setting fixtures in a house. Um, pretty much when it's when it's finished, you're setting all the plumbing fixtures, or close to the time that uh, the house is gonna be finished, you're gonna set, you know, the lavatory faucets, kitchen faucets, all that stuff, water heaters, blah, 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 most of the time. So that's what I mean by trim bag. Uh, as I said before, I'm a plumber, so trim, setting fixtures, that's what I mean uh, by trim is, is setting fixtures. So I did turn this into my trim bag for the time being. I was using a Husky bag. Um, it's just kind of like a tote style bag. It has a lot of room, a lot of space. Still a good bag. I'm still holding on to it. Maybe I can find some other use for it. Um, but I did turn this into my trim bag. So this is my primary trim bag. So I want to kind of go over some of the features for this bag as well. Um, I had a, there's a couple commenters, um, or one of them in particular was talking about, uh, maybe looking into some other bags or trying to find the right bag for him. Uh, I think he's an electrician. Um, and also another another commenter. There's only two comments at the at the time of this video, the making of this video. So, but the other commenter uh, said something about how he wants um, to see some of my other bags. And um, like I had mentioned in the video, this is one of the other bags. And since I turned it into my trim bag, we'll we'll go ahead and showcase this one, get into it, show some of the features and why it's good for me as a plumber and why I chose this bag. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into it. This is the DeWalt. Um, I don't remember what it's called. I bought it a long time ago. I used it at one point for just like random tools just to see how it worked. And then I stopped using it because it couldn't hold a lot of the tools. Uh, and then I started splitting up into several different bags when I got the idea to just, you know, make grab and go bags. So now I'm at the point where I can actually just use this as a standalone bag for, for trim. And um, let's get into it. I'm going to show you why, why I like it and why it's good for me as a plumber. So, sorry I don't have all the information on this bag. This is a particular bag, the Walt backpack that has this little flip-up light. Uh, and I'll get into, I guess, some of its features. There's not much to it, but it is cool. It is handy, and I have used it before. It's, it's pretty cool. But So, anyways, the Walt backpack. We'll start with the outside, of course. So, on your front... You just have a couple little pockets right here. Uh, it's not zipper style or anything. You just slide stuff in there. It is a little tight, so I don't really see anything falling out of it. So in this left pocket right here, all I keep is just a little Milwaukee Sharpie. Sharpie. Um, this other little front pocket, I keep nipple extractors in here. So it's just one of the tools that I use sometimes as a plumber. Try to take nipples. If, if you can't get them out or if you don't have enough room to put pliers on them or anything like that, you just stick it inside. The nipple and this will self tighten and you can take the nipple off sometimes you use that for fixtures sometimes it's for for shower heads there's a nipple where the shower head goes when you're doing trim or it's like that during a during a top out so you want to take that out sometimes they're too short if they double stack the wall or whatever but not going to get too much into it another pocket right here it's a zipper pocket here i just keep you know here's some bits like some half, or I'm sorry, some just some various size bits or whatever for, for sockets. Socket bits, or some sockets, I'm sorry. Different size sockets. These are, these are impact ready. You can put these on an impact, so if you want to use that for an impact. Just a bunch of different sockets in here. That's that's all that's in here. Use a socket, socket wrench quite a bit. And then you have a bigger outside pocket, which is this one right here. There's no hard shell pockets on this bag, but... This is just a trim bag. I'm not really carrying any expensive power tools or anything like that in here. Um, and nothing's really going to break, so don't really need any hard shell pockets. But this one kind of flips down like so. Um, on your front, you have two 
little sliding pockets. I'm not sure if that can be seen. There we go. Oh. Two little mesh pockets right here. Um, I just have a cartridge removal tool in here, some plumber's grease, some inside cutters, really handy. Put those back in there. Got some plumber's putty in here, uh, some glue. This is some one step, this is primer and glue in one, but those fit perfectly in there. Here's a little magnet extension. If you drop something down a drain or something like that, you can grab it or behind a wall or something. Uh, here's my socket wrench. And then I think that's pretty much it for in here. I don't really carry too much other stuff in here. I think I have a little, little pair of copper cutters in here that I can slide down in here. Some little copper cutters. That's pretty much it for this pocket. There are, there, there is a bunch of of pockets in here for smaller tools, smaller pliers or whatever you wanna, it just doesn't suit me very well, this front pocket doesn't, but the bulk of my tools of course are in the main pocket, which we'll get into that here in a second. Still going around the bag, so of course, just like on all my bags, I have these little, these little rubber twisty things. I carry three quarter and half inch Teflon on here. I do carry some electrical tape. I do like some light electrical work, I guess. It's not really, you know, like dishwashers and disposals and stuff like that. I'll wire those up. So I carry wire nuts and uh, electrical tape with me. And then, of course, another one of these carabiners right here to hang my bag in the van or wherever I need to go in a, on a rafter or wherever. Um, let's start with this side. It does have one Velcro pocket on the right side. So in here, I keep my trusty pipe dope. Yeah, so I put that on everything, pretty much. It's good for a lot of a lot of applications. And then we'll go around to what is the left side of the bag. I just have a, you know, a cheap Lufkin tape measure um, and then just a pencil. Now, this right here, it actually has a clip for your tape measure. So right here, this is metal. It's a little metal piece right here. I'm sure you, I don't know if you can see it very well or here that it's actually metal but and there's a couple little smaller pockets right here one of which obviously I'm utilizing for a pencil uh, and that's pretty much it there's like three four pockets right here that's pretty much it for the outside of the bag uh the straps I'll go to the back real quick the straps um they're a little thin they're not like the Milwaukee there, they do, it doesn't offer much much padding on it. However, it's still pretty comfortable. Uh, a lot of times I'll pick my bag up by the carabiner and I'll just carry it like this, or um, which is what I like about the Milwaukee too. I don't know if I got into that. You can actually just fold your bag up and then grab these two handles and then pick it up and go um, from you know sink to sink or from job space to job space. You can just pick it up, fold it back up and go. Uh, Let's see, the light came on. All right. But yeah, not very much padding, but again, it's not it's not really uncomfortable. It's not bad, but it doesn't offer the same amount of padding as, as the Milwaukee does. But that's pretty much it for back here. There is like a, a chest strap right here. You can clip these two together. I believe that's for your chest. Yeah, the chest strap. Uh, there is no waist strap on this one, but it's okay. So. Let's go ahead and get into the main pocket. So, take that off. Oh, there is like a little plastic piece right here. You can slide like a little card or something in here with your name or your information on it if you lose your bag or something like that. If somebody is nice enough, I doubt it, um, to return this bag to you with your contact information on it, then you could use that for that, I guess. So let's get into the main pocket. This does, the zippers do go all the way down to the bottom. Oh, one other thing before we get into it. On the very bottom of this bag, there is no, uh, it's not reinforced by anything. There is no uh, really thick piece of plastic or anything on the bottom that keeps it like, you know, it's waterproof or anything like that. It's got like these rubber feet on the bottom to keep it from sliding, I guess, but you're really not getting much um, underneath the bag like you would like the Milwaukee. 
or um, I think a couple of the Klein tool bags do that as well. So this one kind of folds down. So we'll take the camera, bring it over here. This is what it looks like. It kind of folds backwards. Um, it may be because I have more heavy tools on one side um, and not the other. So it just kind of folds down. Most of these tools are, all these tools right here outweigh all these tools on this side. So um, that's something to look out for, I guess, if you're gonna load your bag down. The bulk of your tools might go right here. So your, your bag is actually just gonna fold the opposite way of maybe what you'd want it to. It doesn't really bother me. Um, so let's get into it. Well, let's get into the light first because that was on the outside of the bag. So here's your light. It does slip up like this. Goes all the way back like so. You can go fold all the way down. Um, now the button, it's, on, it's this little yellow button right here on the left side. Just click that in. All right, hold on a second. Sorry. Yeah, so this, this can tend to come loose right here. This is where your batteries go. It's your little battery door right here. You just unscrew this. So, so there's the light, comes on. I think there's a few different settings. Yeah, that's the lowest and then there's three different settings. Okay, and that's it and then it turns off. Um, so one of the cool things about this, since there's a hole right here that you can see, you can actually flip that all the way down, turn it on and it shines on the inside of your bag so you can see all your tools and everything. So it gets a little brighter. That's cool. So mainly what I would do or what I have used it for is I'll be under a sink or something and I'll pull my bag up to me under the sink and then I'll just turn it on and just it'll shine directly into the sink while I'm underneath it. So it's a decent little feature. feature. I'm not going to use it that much but it's I guess cool to have. All right, rambling on. All right, so right here, just have a bunch of different sets of pliers. Um, have a few knee pegs pliers. I love these things. It's pretty much like a like a crescent wrench, an adjustable. Well, I guess all crescent wrenches are adjustable, but this one right here is it's a plier style crescent wrench, so to say. It's really cool. Um, use this a lot for fixtures, actually. Sorry. I use these a lot for fixtures. Um, when you want to bite down on some of these colored fixtures or uh, obviously you don't want to put a pair of pliers on it to tighten it down because you'll scratch it up with all the teeth on it. You can actually put those on it. I mean, usually I'll still use like a pair of crescent wrenches or something, but like a crescent wrench. But anyway, so just a bunch of different ones. Got some wildies. Um, got another pair of knee pegs and then that pair that the teethless crescent style got a couple pair of pliers long needle nose a couple screwdrivers flathead and Phillips flathead and Phillips another Phillips this is real cool so this is like a nut driver but it's got like I think 11 11 different sizes or seven different sizes it's pretty cool and you can take this out. Can't really do it one-handed, but I'm not even gonna do it. So here we go. It's cool. You get the gist. Uh, six and one, or I'm sorry, this is an eleven and one. Use those a lot. Level. So obviously you can fit a lot of tools in here. I'm not gonna get into all the tools, but uh, tub drain tool. Little small picks and screwdrivers and such, real small ones for tight spaces or, you know, for fixtures really, that's what, it, that's what it's for. A lot of them have small O-rings and, and small screws and stuff in it for repair and stuff like that. So carry a lot of those in there. Just a basic little hammer, don't need much for trim. Every plumber needs a basin wrench, that's what that is. Uh, key, that's to get into, um, that's to get into the meter box. You know, when you want to turn off the water to the house, it doesn't even fit all of them but uh fits most of them i guess and this thing kind of sucks too it breaks it broke really easily and it broke like that but, um it's not bad it still works uh a couple of these these are just like scrapers and stuff like that when you remove old uh fixtures and stuff like that it may have some silicone or some some nasty crud or something like that underneath it you can remove it uh you can use this for several different applications but 
these are just cheap Harbor Freight little scrapers. A, uh, oh, this is cool. So at the very bottom, it's flat like the Milwaukee's, like the Milwaukee bag. So you can kind of squeeze a few, a few tools here on the bottom where power tools, they can fit right there as well, some smaller ones. It does have this little strap right here to keep, you know, some of your tools secure. If you want to keep them down, not moving or, or migrating or anything like that. So this is like a bigger strap wrench right here. Uh, that's what I keep right there so it doesn't unravel, I guess. But yeah, you do have a pretty decent amount of space right here. There are some pockets on the side. This is like a, a ratcheting screwdriver. I keep that on the side pocket. There's another side pocket right here. Uh, this is just an Allen wrench driver right here. It's got a bunch of different sizes. Um, it's a jeweler's knife or a midget hacksaw, or whatever you want to call it. Just another hacksaw blade. There is one big pocket right here. I keep my big copper cutters in here. Uh, this is perfect for cutting like, like colored tubular, you know, like steel tubular. You can use these to cut it. You know, some people like uh, the colored P-traps and stuff like that. So you can cut like the extensions and stuff with these big copper cutters. These are some cheap Husky ones, but they, they serve me well. Some Allen wrenches in here. And then also one more pocket. So I'll keep a few uh, ratcheting box in wrenches in here. Use them for toilets and such, some fixtures and stuff like that. And then uh, another set of, well, those are metric Allen wrenches down here. And this is, this is SAE or standard right there. Use that quite a bit. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this bag. I will be doing some more videos since uh, I do have people asking about it. And I'd like to show y'all, you know, show, show everyone, um, some good tool bags, some good features of some tool bags and what I've used uh, throughout the years that I've not only just been working, but um, even though I haven't been plumbing for, you know, too long, but uh, what you can, what you can have is just a tradesman in general, not just a plumber, but an electrician or a carpenter or anybody that, you know, deals with tools on a day to day basis. So I just wanted to show y'all and I got more to come. I got, I got other bags and stuff like that. I do have like, some pack out boxes and stuff like that. I got the whole pack out system and everything and I can I can show y'all how uh, how I have those set up and everything like that. Sorry, I know it's kind of out of breath. It's really hot in here. So, yeah. Yeah, so that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, just keep leaving comments and uh, you can request more videos and stuff like that. I can't really upload uh, very often because I am busy, I do work late, but uh, I'm going to try to. I know it's been a few weeks since I uploaded this, my very first video, I guess. But um, as long as everything stays positive and everybody's positive about everything, you know, I don't mind uploading these videos. So uh, just leave some comments. Um, tell me if you like the video, uh, what I did wrong or anything like that. Uh, tell me what I can improve on. I uh, know I don't have the best background or anything like that. I am in like a small garage or whatever, but so that doesn't really matter. But uh, just let me know. Give me your opinions. Opinions are important. Feedback is important. So um, until next time, I'll see you later.